Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Accounting Basics. Have you ever wondered how to get a clear snapshot of a company's financial health? There's a single report for that, the balance sheet. It shows you exactly what a business owns versus what it owes, all built on one powerful rule. Assets equals liabilities plus equity. Today, we're breaking down this concept in a way that anyone can understand. By the end, you won't know just how to read a balance sheet. You'll have built one with me from scratch. First up, let's talk about the first piece of that puzzle, assets. An asset is simply any resource a company owns that has economic value. In plain English, it's all the stuff the company has in its corner. Assets are usually split into two buckets, current and non-current. Current assets are things that can be or are expected to be turned into cash within a year. This includes the most obvious one, cash itself. It also covers accounts receivable, that's the money other people owe the company, and inventory, which is all the products sitting on a shelf waiting to be sold. Then you have non-current assets, which you might hear called fixed assets. These are the long-term workhorses that aren't easily sold. We're talking things like heavy-duty equipment, the office building, the land, and even intangible things you can't physically touch, like patents and trademarks. So on one side of our balance sheet, we list out all of the valuable things that the company owns. All right. Let's look at the other side, starting with liabilities. Liabilities are just a formal way of saying what a company owes to other people. It's the company's debts and financial obligations. And just like assets, liabilities are also broken down into current and non-current. Current liabilities are debts that have to be paid back within one year. This includes things like accounts payable, money that the company owes to its suppliers, and any short-term loans on the books. Long-term liabilities are debts that are due after one year. A classic example is a big bank loan used to buy a building, or that major piece of equipment that we mentioned earlier. So now we've got what a company owns, its assets, and what it owes, its liabilities. But what about the last piece of the equation? That brings us to equity. Sometimes it's called shareholders' equity. This is what's left over for the owners once all the debts are settled. The easiest way to wrap your head around it is just to flip our main equation around. If assets equals liabilities plus equity, then it's also true that equity equals assets minus liabilities. It's what the owners would walk away with if the company sold all of its assets off and paid back every single penny it owed. It's the company's net worth. Equity is made up of the things like the initial cash the owners put in, often called common stock, and retained earnings, which are the profits that the company has plowed back into the business instead of paying them out. Okay, quick pause here. If the light bulb is starting to go on and you're finding this helpful, do me a quick favor and hit the like button. It's a small thing, but it genuinely helps our channel reach more people we're trying to learn this stuff. Now, let's make this feel real. Imagine we're starting a small coffee cart business. First, let's list our assets. We've got $5,000 cash in the bank, our shiny new espresso machine, and the cart itself are worth, let's say, $7,000. And we have $1,000 worth of inventory. You know, coffee beans, milk, and cups. Add that all up, and our total assets are $13,000. Next up, our liabilities. To get started, let's say we took out a small loan of $4,000. We also owe our coffee bean supplier $500 from our last order. That's all of our debt. So our total liabilities come to $4,500. Finally, let's calculate our equity. Remember, Assets minus liabilities. That's our $13,000 in assets minus our $4,500 in liabilities, which leaves 
$8,500 in equity. And now, for the magic moment, let's see if it balances. Does assets equals liabilities plus equity? $13,000 equals $4,500 plus $8,500? Yes, it does. We have perfectly balanced the balance sheet. And just like that, you understand the three core parts of a balance sheet. To sum it all up, it's a snapshot of a company's financial story, showing what it owns, its assets, what it owes, its liabilities, and what's left for the owners, the equity. And it always must follow that golden rule, assets equals liability plus equity. Don't sweat it if it doesn't all click perfectly on the first go, though. Getting comfortable with this stuff takes a little bit of time, so feel free to rewatch this video whenever you need a refresher. If you want to keep learning about accounting and finance, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.